Hey guys, it's Bethany, your crafty BFF, and today I'm on with another project share. First, let me apologize if the sound is off, but I can't afford to get behind on videos because I just got four more swaps in today. And so I don't want to record their videos with crappy sound, but I will record my own video with crappy sound. So if it sounds bad, I apologize ahead of time, but I wanted to get this project share done so that I could send it out tomorrow. Uh, this is a very, very late birthday mail that I'm sending to a friend. And um, so I apologize to the person that is getting this late, uh, but I've been so busy with uh, so many swaps and challenges and things of that nature that I just haven't had time to get this, get it all done, you know. So today I got it done and I would like to share it. I made this jelly tote. Uh, my friend Vanetta sent me this jelly tote for me for my birthday and this is uh, the second time I've got to use it now. I cut it out of the 80 pound basil cardstock and I used the Rainbow Avenue collection by Celeste Gonzalez to decorate uh, the tote here. I used a rosette that I got in some happy mail. I layered up some of this netting material and then a floral ephemera, a foam butterfly, a foam friends sentiment. And then I've even got some little florals in the background there. I did use my favorite gold foil cardstock from Hobby Lobby for the handles. And let's start with the birthday card. I um, made this this morning. I was feeling really guilty about <laughs> not sending this person um some happy mail for her birthday yet so I um, um, already had this shaker cut out and so I slapped it on this card added um, the sequins mix and added some sequins up on top of the cupcake to make it look like sprinkles um, I used this sprinkle paper it's this is actually a digital paper that I printed out I think I got it on Etsy I did sew around the edges with some gold thread, and then I cut out this happy birthday sentiment and laid, uh, layered some of that pink mesh behind it. So, very simple card, but fun nonetheless. Man, it is so hot today in Ohio. Let me tell you what. Okay, get in there. Okay. Next, um, I did make a memory dex card. I'm going to package this up, but I made this memory dex card also using Rainbow Avenue uh, by Celeste Gonzalez. Love how it turned out. I used this layering die cut in the back. I might have shown this before, actually, now that I think about it, but oh well, I'm showing it again. <laughs> um, I've got some Happy Mail things, uh, images laid, layered up here in the background. With this flower that I made here on the front and these green fabric leaves layered behind it. I've got a paper ruffle on there, some of that pink mesh in the background, and it says smile. Whew, it's hot. <laughs> I didn't realize how hot it was until I started recording. Um, next, uh, you might have seen me make uh, one of these yesterday on my channel. I made this person. Um, I'm keeping a secret for now. A who, because I think she watches my videos pretty regularly. Um, but I made one of these glue stopper pins for her glue bottle. She is definitely a crafter. So I made this little dangle and attached it to the glue pin. If you haven't seen my little craft with me slash tutorial on this, make sure you check it out. I did, uh, I made, or I die cut this box out, uh, for it to store it in. And I think it's a great little display box for these glue pen stopper thingies. So there's that. 
Um, so I got this new die from Chaos Craft. It is, it's some kind of tag die, but it comes with the piece to like, um, cut this out and, um, cut the acetate out and, uh, make a really fun little display box for this tag. It's, it's some kind of tag die and, oh, if anybody's interested, I just let me know and I'll link it, um, in the description box down below. And, uh, but anyways, I packaged up some beads just to gift to her as a little extra happy mail gift. So, love this packaging. Um, it comes with, like, this die that you just run, run it, run this through your die cutting machine, and then this is how they open it. So, I, I've glued it shut, but they can't get it open any other way but to, to open it with these tabs back here. I think it's really fun. So, there's that. I made these bows. Uh, well, first let's look at the bag topper. I, um, this is like my favorite bag topper lately. It's from Chaos Craft. It's the scalloped bottom one. I decorated it, um, pretty simply. You know, my fit, my usual paper ruffle, the pink mesh, some ephemera pieces, and then this, um, foam sticker that says my favorite. And this is my favorite bow. I may, I've been making it a lot lately. It's the, uh, angel wing bow from Chaos Craft. I did layer some of that pink mesh in there, um, behind the layers, uh, for some extra fun. So there's those. And then I made these flowers and, uh, packaged them in this beautiful box. Um, you know how I feel about packaging. I love my different packaging materials. So I used a bunch of different dyes, uh, for my packaging today and it was a lot of fun to play with so i just arranged the flowers here on this little piece of acetate that fix, fits down in the box first i laid down all these gold leaves and then i layered the flowers on top of the leaves to make it look like a really fun display of the flowers and so there are eight flowers total So pretty. I love this die. This is the new uh, flower plate die from Chaos Craft. Love, love, love it. Sorry for the sniffling, guys. You know, it's my autoimmune disorder <clears throat> making me have allergy like symptoms, although I don't have any allergies. So, anyways, I did, I used. I did cut out an extra bow and used it on top of this box to decorate it a little bit and called it a day. I also have a sequins mix in here that I had some extra of and thought I'd just package it up and throw it in there. And last but not least, I used this die, which I believe is actually from, I bought it on Amazon. It's either KS Craft or ZF Party. I can't remember for sure, but um, it's this uh, gift bag die, and um, it comes with all these like little layering pieces to go around the uh, circles. I did cut out some vellum to kind of hide what's inside the bag. I, you could use acetate and then make it like a, a see-through bag, but I thought we'd do some vellum and... Um, at least make it a little bit of a surprise and it does come with this happy birthday sentiment as well and inside i'm gifting her a couple of dies i have this uh die here that i ordered like a bunch of these memory decks dies from timu um so that i could gift them in happy mail and then the other die that i'm gifting is this umbrella um i actually Somehow I ordered two of these on Timu, and so I thought I would send her the extra one. Um, just as a nice little birthday gift. And that's it. So, uh, that's my little birthday mail to my dear friend. I hope she doesn't mind that it's late and she still likes what I made. Um, let me arrange this a little better. I have this back here and this up here. I think 
and then I have this over here, and this right here. Oh, and I gotta put the memory decks in there. Okay. <laughs> so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below, and I will get back to you. Have a great day. Bye.